If you're a fan of the Love Alarm K-drama, then I think you shouldn't miss its webtoon version. Among other modern romances, I somewhat enjoyed these four. This one is actually full of plot holes and cliches, but I enjoyed reading it a lot. You see, it's like the modern version of the remarried empress, but the trash characters get what they deserve sooner. <laughs> Now, among fantasy romances, these are pretty okay, but if you're a sucker for romances with the female lead being a fan of the second male lead on the novel she has read, then I suppose you cannot miss this one. I enjoyed reading these titles, but I'm not sure if I shall consider them among my favorites yet. This one had a pretty high chance, I guess. It somewhat reminded me of Emperor and Female Knight. This one I'm pretty hooked into for some reason. It's actually full of cliches and has the usual enemies to lovers trope, but it's cute. It's far from great, but far from terrible as well. It's rare for me to see a female lead in a historical romance to be attending law school, so I'll keep my hopes up. My favorite among the new romances though is actually this one. If you're also a fan of the likes of How to Hide the Emperor's Child or any other webtoon wherein the female lead tries to protect a child, then you will most likely adore this too. Although the art and the story execution could be done better, the characters are very very charming. I also like it that it has the gaming interface stuff, which may be common in action webtoons but it's actually quite rare among the romance ones. Now about action webtoons with gaming systems, these are, well, a bit unusual. I mean, there's something about them that's different from the rest. I acknowledge that, but I couldn't stay impressed because there's also something about them which I didn't like. But those things might not bother you, so perhaps you can give them a try anyway if they caught your eye somehow. With this one, I'm trying my best to keep reading because it's rare for me to see an action webtoon with a brother and a niece to look after instead of the usual mother and sister. Although this one also has an MC trying to protect his sister, but it's an older sister. Usually it's a younger one. Although I'm a little tired of yet another regressor in an action fantasy webtoon, but for the older sister, I'll try to hold on. The chapters I've read so far are pretty okay anyway. If you're a fan of The Breaker Manhua, then you shouldn't miss its third season. I've read some chapters of the first season super long time ago and I can't remember its story. So I read this third season with the eyes of a new reader of the Breaker series and it's not a bad introduction to the series. So it's the type of sequel that you can follow even without reading its prequels yet. But of course, it will be easier to appreciate if you already love the original series because the characters that you will recognize will definitely make you very hyped. But among the new action webtoons released in the past month, this one is my favorite. 
its first chapter was a little boring at the beginning but at the end of the same chapter it really took me by surprise the action is really intense and very satisfying if you like the return of the mad demon webtoon then high chances that you will enjoy this series too since it's by the same creator <laughs> Among those which don't fall under the romance or action genre, this one is pretty unique, but hmm, not my type. Too depressing for me, I guess. If you want a story with horror and supernatural elements, and you like girls' love, then you might enjoy this one. Among boys' love titles, I find these two really amusing and adorable. <laughs> I'm not really a fan of yaoi, but there's a type of yaoi that often gets my attention. And they're the ones which have power bottoms, like in this webtoon. <laughs> I don't actually like this yaoi series, but I can't help but notice that this one is being released in more than two official English platforms already. I saw a comment mentioning that the main characters look like Dokja and Jungkyuk from Omniscient Reader, and from that moment forward, I cannot unsee. And it was not a comfortable experience. Because the relationship of the dudes in this yaoi series looks so toxic, you see? And I don't like seeing my Dokja in such. Their complicated relationship in Omniscient Reader is the most I can handle. <laughs> but anyway, if you're a fan of such, then perhaps you won't mind and find it enjoyable. <laughs> As you might have noticed, sadly, there had not been much interesting webtoons last August. Well, in my opinion, hopefully, next month is going to be different. So, to be notified for new webtoon recommendations every month, please don't forget to subscribe! Likes, shares, and comments would also be highly appreciated. Thanks for watching and hope to see you again. Take care!